Amen. Our God wins. The Lord God Almighty, who is the King of glory, the Lord God, strong and mighty. Listen, wherever you are, I'm going to ask you to take the digital praise break and begin to praise God where you are. Hallelujah. Let's praise God wherever we are. Because wherever we are, He is in the midst as we worship Him in spirit and in truth. The Lord God, strong and mighty. Listen, we want to welcome you to our service today. We thank you for being a part of the triumphant experience. And we're expecting something great from the Lord today. But I'm asking you to take this time. We believe that hearts mean hallelujah. So if you can like or even love our website today or love our Facebook page today or even share our YouTube page today, we'd be greatly appreciative. Would you bow your heads with me as we pray? Father, we thank you for another wonderful day that you have made. Amen. Death can't hold you. Even with all the death that we are seeing around us, we know that that does not limit your power. That does not limit your glory. You are still God. You still reign on the throne. So today we want to give you glory. We want to give you honor. We want to give you praise. We want to worship you with all of our heart, our soul, our body, our mind, and all our strength. Have your way today. Touch us today, oh God. Heal someone today. Revive someone today. Deliver someone today. Hallelujah. And when it's all said and done, you will get the glory. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Let's have some more church. God bless you. And this morning we change our posture. We recognize that you are with us. So we bow at your greatness. We lift our hands in awe at your splendor. You be glorified this morning. Hallelujah.
time to give unto the Lord. You know in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, there's a story of a prophet who was confronted by a woman who said to him, listen, my husband just died and the creditors are coming at this moment to take my sons as slave. She was living in a point in a time of death around her, just like we are today. So many people are dying. Yet still, there was still hope for her. Because the prophet said to this woman in this moment, I know that your husband has died. I know that you're facing this issue, but I have a word for you. And there's a word for you today wherever you are. And he said to this woman, listen, go get some vessels. And whatever you have in your house, what do you have there? What do you have in your house? What do you have left today to give? She had something in her house. There's something in your house. And the Bible says that when she got the oil in her house, he said to her, go get vessels. And she went and got vessels. And the next thing he said to her after she got vessels was, shut the door. You see, many of us have had to shut the door in this moment. Wherever we are, we've had to lock the doors and stay inside. And I come to let someone know that there is a quarantine miracle in the house for you. There's a miracle in your house, although you may have had to shut your doors. Hallelujah, and God is saying that the doors may be shut, but the heavens are still open. There's still a blessing for you, even though you may be locked inside at this moment. And this woman, she locked the door, and the Bible says that she began to pour. She poured out. I don't know what you have today, but I want to I implore you to begin to pour out. 
pour out your praise, pour out your worship, but not only that, pour out in your giving because there is a miracle in store for you. And the Bible says that as he began to pour out, it just kept flowing and kept flowing and kept flowing. I want you to understand that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Even in the time of a quarantine, even in a time of death, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Hallelujah. And as she began to pour and as the Lord began to allow the oil to keep flowing in her life and continue to flow in her life and as the doors were locked, the Bible says that she continued to pour. I want to implore you to pour today because there's a blessing for you. Listen, there's three ways that you can pour out today. Three ways you can give. And I want you to grab your gift in your hand at this moment. You can give through Givelify. You can give through our website, ttcog.com, or you can give through PayPal. And let me not forget, you can always drop it off right at the doors here at 7 Sutter Avenue. And as you give, I want you to say this with me. As I move toward a triumphant life, I accept all concepts and ideas that God has for me. I sow triumphantly. I reap triumphantly. I give triumphantly. I live triumphantly. Come on. Begin to lift up the name of Jesus and begin to pour out just as you have poured out in your offering. Now open your mouth and begin to give him praise. Open your mouth and begin to give him glory. There's healing for you right where you are. There's a blessing for you right where you are. There's a breakthrough for you right in your house, right in quarantine, if you just pour out. Pour out wherever you are. Pour out, pour out wherever you are. God bless you. He never leaves us. He wants to save us. 
Everything I need because he's with me. You'll never go back on your mind. You never fail. You never fall short. So we trust you. Yes, Lord, we trust you, Jesus. We trust you. It's not a single thing we have to worry about. The champion of this world fights for me. Heavyweight champion of the world. He's never lost the battle. He's never come up short. You always win. You always win. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We bless you. Come on, let's give God a praise. God is a good God. Welcome to Triumphant Church of God. We honor God for you. We praise God. God is good. And in such a time as this, we want to make sure we worship God and give him our best praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is indeed a privilege to come to you. And today, honor God for the privilege. Yes. And we give God thanks. You find me reading from the book of Psalms 42 and the 11th verse. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God. Yes, hope in God. For I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. I shall yet praise him. I shall yet praise him. I wish somebody could shout that in the living room with me. And maybe you're going to, but you can shout it loud and clear. I shall yet praise him. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disturbed within me? I can tell you why. It is a depressing world out there. When you pick up the newspaper, or when you look at the TV, the news, or when you pick up the gadgets and when you open it and you look, the first thing you uh, confronts you, bad news. Death, disease, despair, pain, and recently COVID-19. It's hard times. But in hard times, God always shows up. Yes. In hard times, I will yet praise God. Hallelujah. And I come to let you know, in your hard times, the weapon of the warfare is to praise God. Hallelujah. If you praise him in spite of, you see God turn it around. Turn it upside down. Hallelujah. Because that's what God wanted. He wants to do that for you. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disturbed within me? Three times in these two Psalms, Psalms 42, 43, we find the questions. It should be noted that Scholar consider these two psalms one based on the language, how it shapes the pattern. In this text, we can hear the lament of one person who is cut off 
from the temple, my God. Man who help lead worship. Lead worship in the temple was now cut off because of the rebellion against Moses. When God opened up the earth back there in, uh, in Numbers 16, God opened the earth and taken the rebe rebellious folks. It's hard to fight against God. And you ought not to fight against God, but do your best to worship Him. God is a loving God, but God is the deadly God. My soul thirsted after God for the, for, the for the living God. For the living God, my soul thirst. Ah, Jesus. For the psalmist, God is a necess necess necessity of his life. But the moment communion with God is now unavailable, he finds himself locked in a position where he can only look from the outside, looking on the inside. He can only look and remember what joyous time he had and this caused him to make, this caused him sadness. What makes this moment all more painful for the psalmist is the memory. As the songwriter said, memory don't leave as people do. They always stay with you, whether they're good or bad. He remember he had been a part of the crowd leading worship to the temple of Jerusalem. My God. Three things, three things this man remember. One, I was a part of the, I was leading the crowd. I was worshiping. I was shouting praise unto God. And I was enjoying a moment because that was the best part of his life. And now, he is nothing. My God. These things, the psalmists remember. How remember the multitude. At the moment he worshipped God with the multitude. Experienced the nearness of God. Experienced the awesomeness of God. And now... was shut out. I wonder if any of you today feel as if God has abandoned you. Feel as if God has turned his back on you. Because of a fact, in the Christian walk, sometimes you feel as if God has forgotten you. And you would ask the question, God, where are you? Oh yes, it happens to the best of us. God, where are you? All of us, all of us experience time of discouragement. All of us experience times where we lost touch with God. Like this psalmist. We do. Our friends and loved ones may have tried hard to lighten the load and pull up our spirit, lift our spirit. But unfortunately, the effort can fall short. My God. My God. That is so true. So true. Three things I recommend 
you doing when going through hard times? Three things. One, keep on praising, keep on hoping. Keep on praising, keep on hoping. Oh God, oh somebody praise God. Keep on praising, keep on hoping. Ebony Murray writes, Murdoch writes, Praising God in hard times doesn't minimize or deny heaviness of heart. Instead, she said, it redirects our focus on who God is. God promised never to leave or abandon his children so we can count on his presence. Psalm 34 said it best. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those who spirit are crushed. Mm. Yes. There have been a lot of crushed spirit lately. Many have lost their loved ones. Many have seen sickness and death came into their home and rip it apart. Many have lost their jobs. Many have lost their hope. Their spirit is crushed. But I say to you, I will yet praise God. Praise Him for my victory. I am praising Him for your victory. I am praising Him for your breakthrough. I'm praising him that he supply your needs. I'm praising him for that you will come through your hard times and get back on track. I'm praising God that you will, he will allow you to experience life again. Hallelujah. And that's what he wants. He said in John 10, 10, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said it best. I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. If you yet praise God, God will step in the midst of your circumstances. If you yet praise God, God will come true for you. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody bless God. If you yet praise God, there is hope. Hope in the risen God. In the risen Christ. Hope. Make it not a shame. Hope. Hallelujah. And this beautiful Sunday, I come to let you know that there is no failure in God. And He is the source of your strength. If you keep on praising him, if you keep on hoping in him. Number two, yes, praise is possible. Wow, really, Bishop McLeod? Praise is possible when I'm going through my mess, going through my hard times. Are you serious? Are you taking drugs, sir? Praise him in my hard times? You gotta be out of your mind, sir. No. Oh. Yes. Praise him. Praise is possible when hard times hit. You can, you can experience joy. The joy of the Lord in the midst of life's storm, life's challenges. In one sense, it's a choice. 
not a feeling. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It becomes more of a kind of a personal battle cry. Yes, a battle cry. Even when you are, when you run, your run has slowed down to a crawl. And your shout had died out, has died out as a cry, as a whisper. Yes. You haven't, the Father is faithful. Oh, glory to God. He's faithful and he will always be faithful. Your heavenly Father still cares and will meet you where you are because he's a God of promise. Not only a God of promise, but he keeps his promise. You know what the psalmist said in Psalms 30, verse 5, in the latter part? He said, weeping, oh God, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Your joy is coming in the morning. After the thick darkness in your life is past, God will see you through the morning. And things are going to be changing. Oh, I speak that in you. I speak that over you in the name of Jesus. God is going to change things for you. And your bad days are going to become your good days. Your morning is going to turn into laugh. Oh, glory to God. Your sorrow is going to turn into happiness. Because your God, he sees your pain. He sees your concern. And he's coming to deliver you. Oh, somebody ought to praise God. Number three, pray and reaffirm. Yes, reaffirm. It is essential that you affirm who you are and what you are about. When we think of praise, it, makes, it may help us to note that in, that includes thanksgiving. It includes speaking well of God. It's speaking well of God, yes. And it includes confessing, confessing your faith, yes. Don't wait for everything to line up, for everything to set straight before you start praising God. No. You praise God in the hard times. You, pray God, you praise God in the dumb time. You praise God when things all messed up. Those are the times you want to prove God. Hallelujah. Psalms 34 said it best. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He went on to say, My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear the often and be glad. And he stepped down and he said, This poor man cry. And the Lord heard him and delivered him from all his trouble. I come to let you know that God is here and God wants to deliver you. If you yet praise him, your sorrows will turn into joy. Your pain will turn into miracles. Hallelujah. Let's pour out our hurting, our hurting hearts to him in prayer. And reaffirm this and take a stand on this. I will yet praise him. I will yet praise him. I will yet praise him. I don't know what you're going through today. But with all what's going on around, I know many of us have been hurting. But I come to let you know. Let's join together and say this loud chant, this, this reformation. I will yet praise him. I will yet praise him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
My friends, I thank you for listening. I thank you for coming every Sunday, joining us here at Triumphant through these media. I pray that you will be blessed. And my encouragement to you today, please don't stop praising God. In the hard times, don't stop. Don't stop. Your victory lies in your praise. So the Lord bless you on today. The Lord keep you. Remember this. Keep praising. Keep hoping. Right? Yes, praise is possible. Oh God. <laughs> and finally, pray and reaffirm. The Lord bless you. I pray that today, that if you're not safe, if you need Jesus in your life, I pray that you give the Lord a ch give him a chance. Let him work, let him work things out for you. Let him come in and have fellowship with you. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, how much we thank you. How much, Lord, we thank you that you are a good God, a great God, an excellent God. And even now, Lord, I pray that you will touch someone that is going through. Those going through hard times, going through rough times. Oh God, those have experienced hard time in this COVID-19 season. God, I pray you lift their spirit up. Those who have lost their jobs, pray that you provide. Those who have experienced sickness, that you will heal. And those who have lost a loved one, God, that you bring peace and comfort to their hearts. Lord, bless them. Cover them. Lord, make your face shine upon them and give them peace. We honor you and we praise you. And just in case you want to accept Jesus, say this sin of prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart today and I make you Lord of my life. I acknowledge you as my Savior and I denounce the world and choose you, Jesus. I glorify you and I thank you. God bless you. I love you. You're triumphant. God bless you in Jesus' name. What an awesome word. What an awesome worship. What an awesome experience to be in the house of the Lord with you today. Wherever you are, we thank God for you. We know there's so many live streams you could have attended, but you chose this one to worship with us today. We want to remind you to like, share, and comment in all our platforms. And if you're watching YouTube, right down here, click on the bell and you get a notification every time we're up. I want to remind you that God is good. Live triumphantly. God bless you. Oh, we're not done blessing the Lord. Can we continue to bless his name? Hallelujah. We're going to call him Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. We praise your name. We praise your name. Zion, we praise our God. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Come on, clap your hands with us.
Why I 